Now we'll be looking at identity and inverse elements. So this is the part in which questions usually come out most in jump. So I want you to really pay close attention. So what is an identity element? So if a star e is equals to a, then element e is known as the identity element. Now this might sound complicated, but I'm going to use an example to illustrate that. So if a star b is equals to a b plus one, find the identity element. So the first thing you want to do is you want to write the condition or the formula for the identity element. So you need to learn it. So it says that what the first letter a star e must be equals to a and then e is the identity element. So in the operation that you are given, what you will do is that you just replace the second number or the second variable here by e which is the identity element. So you just replace it here. So in this case, I'll just have what a star e is equals to a. So this right hand of the equation now, I now have a star e. So I'm now going to write a star e based on the operation defined by this formula. So yeah, I'm told that a star b is equals to a b plus 1. So what will be a star e? a star e will be equals to what a e plus 1. So I just write it as what a e plus 1 is equals to a. Then I make a the subject of formula. So a e will be equals to a minus 1. And if I divide both sides by a, I have my identity element e to be equals to what a minus 1 over a. Another example, we are told that from the previous example, find the identity element for theory under the binary operation. So in the previous example, we are told that what a star b is equals to what a b plus 1. So now we are told to find the identity element for theory on that star. So we are told to find the identity element for theory on that star. So that would be theory star e is equals to theory. Because if you recall, the formula for what identity element says that what a star e should be equals to a. Since you are finding it on that theory, so I know that what theory star my identity element must be equals to a. And in this case, a is theory. So I write this out using the formula that is given. So I know that a star b is a b plus 1. So a star e will be what? Theory star e will be what? Theory e plus 1 is equals to 3. So 3e is equals to 3 minus 1, which is equals to 2. So 3e is equals to 2. So if I divide both sides by 3, I have my identity element to be equals to 2 over 3. So here is another example. And in this example, we are going to be trying to use the multiplication table like we have talked about. So and this is an actual jam pass question. We are told to find the identity element with respect to the multiplication shown in the table below. So this table over here, we are told to find and figure out what the identity element is. So now let's write out our formula for the identity element. You know that our identity element is given as what a star e is equals to a. So what does it mean? It means that when I have a variable a, then star the identity element, it must be equals to that variable a. So now we've talked about how to convert binary operations in multiplication table to the operation. So let's try to write for everything out. So we'll start by writing k and k. So k, then this is the operation here, k is equals to what connects it, l. Now we know that k and l now will be what? k operation l will be equals to what? What connects it m? I know that k operation m will be equals to k. k operation m equals to k. Now let's move on to the next row. And here we have what? L. So L operation then k will be equals to what? L operation k will be equals to m. L then operation L will be equals to k. And L operation M will be equals to L. 
and finally let's go to the last rule so we have what m operation k will be equals to k we have m operation l will be equals to l and we have m operation l will be equals to m m equation m will be equals to m so now let's take a look at the formula for identity element so as we can see we can see that for an identity element what the first term of the operation the a term must be equal to the result so the first term here must be equal to the result and if this happens then the element under which this operation is defined is referred to as the identity element so now let's come and let's try to circle out all operations here in which we have a or the first letter being equals to the same letter over here so we see that k is not equals to m l is not equals to m m is not equals to k k is not equals to m l is not equals to k and m here is not equals to l but here k is equals to k yeah l is equals to l and here m is equals to m so what is the operation in which those variables we are operating with so here we had k operation m here we had l operation m and we add what m operation m so if you compare it to our formula it tells us that when you have this condition in which a is equals to a that element or that variable that is operating with a is the identity element so in this case since this condition is fulfilled and have k being equals to k here, l being equals to l here, and m being equals to m here, then the operation in which those variables are operating with is the identity element. So as you can see, the identity element is what? m, as shown here, here, and here. So the identity element is m. So the correct answer, or the correct option is c. So now let's talk about the inverse. So how do we find the inverse element? So this is the formula you need to learn to find the inverse element so a star b is equal to the identity element where e is the identity element then b is the inverse of a so this should tell you something that if you want to find the inverse element first you need to evaluate the identity element so let's start out for example if x star y is equal to x y i told to find the inverse element so the first thing we have to do is to find the identity element. I know that we just find the identity element by replacing this second term here, y by e and making it equals to the first term here, x. So we have what x star e is equals to what x. Same way we add a, a star e is equals to, same way we add a star e being equals to a, but in this case we are talking in terms of x. So x star e is equals to x. So now x star e is what x times e as defined by this formula. So I have what x e is equals to x. So if I divide both sides by x, what do I have? So I have e being equals to x divided by x is 1. So the identity element is 1. So now I have to find the inverse. And I told that to find the inverse, a star b will be equals to e, where b is the inverse. So now we do the same here, so we replace b now, y now with b. So we have what x star b will be equal to the inverse, and the inverse will equal to the identity element, and the identity element we have found out to be 1. So we now write x star b using this operation here. So x star b as x times y will be x, y. So x star b will what x b is equal to 1. And if I divide both sides by x, I have the inverse b as what well, 1 over x. So the inverse element is 1 over x. Let's take a look at another example. So here we are told that an operation is defined on the set of real numbers by a star b is equal to a plus b plus 1. Find the identity element and the inverse of the element 2 on that star. So how are we going to go about this? First, we need to find the identity element, and the identity element, you know that is what a star e is equals to a. So we just replace this b with a e. So we have what a star e is equals to a, and a star e as defined by this formula, a star b will be what a plus e plus one. 
So I have what a plus e plus one is equals to a. So I'll make what e the subject of formula. So I have what e is equals to a when I bring this over here, it becomes minus a. And when I bring this over here, it becomes minus one. A minus a cancel out. So I have what e is equals to minus one. So my identity element e is minus one. So the second part asks us to find the inverse of the element two under the operation, under the binary operation. So now to find the inverse, we know that what a star b is equals to the identity element e. So in this case, we are finding the inverse of the element two. So my a in this case will be what two star b is equals to e and b is the inverse and i've got my identity element to be minus one so i have two star b is equals to minus one so i write out two star b fully using the expression so two star b will be what two plus b plus one so i have two plus b plus one is equals to minus one and if i make b the sort of formula i have b is equals to minus one when i bring this over i have minus one and when i bring this over i have minus two so b is equals to minus one minus one minus which gives me minus four so that means that the inverse of the element two under the operation is given as what minus four so this pretty much sums up how we go about finding the identity and inverse element under binary operation